So it's all about inclusion. So hosting underrepresented communities in the space is a good way to allow, or not allow, but facilitate underrepresented communities being in a space and feeling welcome and feeling engaged and wanted. So I've worked with some under some communities that are out in the West End, for example, and youth that have been born and raised in Toronto have never been downtown, have never been to financial district. And when I asked why, because I mean, I grew up in Waterloo, so coming to Toronto, whether it was to go to the ROM or to go to the Bata Museum or just even to go to Chinatown to experience different cultures, they explained to me that they don't feel comfortable, they don't feel wanted if they had $3 to spend on bus fare or they had $3 to spend on a slice of pizza, they'd rather spend it on food or something that they'd you know, be able to benefit from. Not realizing that there's so much to, to engage in, even knowing that we have a path system downtown where you can walk underground. I know for me, I enjoy walking through like Yorkville and downtown and looking at the beautiful buildings and whatnot in financial district and taking all of that in. And once you feel comfortable in those spaces, you can see yourself in those spaces. So that's a first step. Even hosting events in certain office spaces so young people understand. I mean, in this day and age, sometimes there's not even a receptionist. You sign your name on an iPad and someone will come and meet you. And those are things that some of the underrepresented communities aren't used to, so they would get frustrated or they'd get scared or they'd feel out of place and that just is a domino effect. So the small things like hosting or facilitating um, groups or you know grassroots organizations in your space or even doing volunteer work. So we work with uh, a tech startup called Hubba. I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with Hubba. How many? Hands up. So for example, we were just funded by the Ontario Black Youth Action Plan. Some of the Hubba staff volunteered at the event that we hosted uh, last Sunday, it's not the Sunday, Sunday past, at the Jumpman store. And even that, volunteering at events like that makes all the difference. So that's what I think is a great starting point. There's 101 other things, but I think it's a good place to start.